Whoa, Wazam. Today's video is on the continued plummeting of mainstream media. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk break that shit down. And I do mean block talk break that shit down. And before we read this lame ass Gallup article, you dig, I won't say to black people, you already know we should never trust the goddamn media. Whenever the media talking about us, what the fuck are they saying? We the face of something negative goddamn and i look at that report they important teachers from other countries just because of the poor conditions of the schools in the inner city and you know why they the schools in the inner city because only black people are there goddamn it you just think that that's a coincidence that all white people left the city goddamn it and went and built glorious schools in the suburbs or made them some nice private schools within the cities and in the suburbs you think that's just a coincidence they know what the fuck they was doing they was leaving them schools there to rot but look here they want to show your your kids with their pants sagging and saying oh the conditions is so poor and they even went as far as to say that the kids are so terrible and bad maybe you should hire some fucking black teachers maybe they can relate to them better because guess what black kids are smart motherfucker and they know one thing people who look like them they less likely to try to pull something over on them god damn it they ain't gonna try to pull that over on Mr. Uh Block Talk News because they're gonna be like, oh no, he he gonna know I'm bullshitting and shit like that, goddamn it. But look, even when they reporting on your goddamn kids is negative. So I know goddamn well ain't no black person who watch BTN actually trust mainstream media. You witnessing the fucking rebel network, but let's not stop there. When they show black women, what are you, goddammit? You the face of welfare. Look at that. That's the welfare class. And they set a few white people in there just to blend in and shit. Look at him. He teaching them how to assimilate. Look at old boy with the uh tie on and shit. Teaching them how to conform like a motherfucker. Look, he already look like Roland Martin, the dude over there. That's all they do. How could we possibly trust these people? Look what they saying. You might think that this positive reporting, oh, they teaching them how to get a job. They helping these people you did so they're not gonna be taking our money for long god damn it and these are the same people who act like so much money is being taken because of welfare and social security but they don't have no fucking problem with earmarks and pork barrel spending and shit like that and i'm gonna speak on that in the next fucking video like welfare is just so much eating into their fucking budget why they give people like walmart subsidized subsidies and all kind of shit god damn it just a bill a Walmart so you paying for their products twice but let's continue because that's how they show the black woman needing their assistance need they help and shit like that god damn it and ready to conform they're ready to do whatever we say they'll they'll wear a bow tie and talk like this and shave everything off your face and when it comes to black men you already know how they showing us the face of fucking crime look at them 66 shot today 12 killed and all of that fucking bullshit bro get the fuck out of here with that we supposed to trust these people you witnessing the rebel network we supposed to trust these people who don't have shit to, shit good to say about us god damn it even a fucking a little white girl's kitten will get coverage over a black woman being evicted and just put directly out on the street for missing one month god damn it you done paid 11 months over years years and shit paying your fucking rent and the minute you're late or uh, miss rent by a couple days they throwing you out on the street look at the homeless problem in fucking Sacramento, well not Sacramento, California, across America. Look at the homelessness, goddamn it. And if you get kicked out and have an eviction on your fucking record, you can't even get shit for six years because it's gonna be on your record. They creating homelessness, goddamn it. They know what they doing. This ain't no goddamn coincidence, goddamn it. They want you on the street or they want you to kill your goddamn self. So why the fuck would we ever believe them when all we is is goddamn criminals? Are they trying to convince you on why they need to police black men harder? Look, all over Chicago, all over Chicago, you dig the 15th district, 11th district, 10th district, 6th district. Nothing but bad shit, but they ain't gonna focus on the motherfucking drugs, illegal firearms. Think about that. Let's stop at illegal firearms for a minute, y'all. I'm from New Orleans, the home of the chopper, goddammit. Remember when people 
first started talking about AK-47s, that came from New Orleans. Then everybody else started making their names for it and getting baby choppers and shit. Where the fuck y'all think them guns coming from? Black people don't make no motherfucking guns. We don't manufacture no motherfucking guns. I, when I was a kid, y'all, I once saw a report that said these young men are using the same goddamn guns as Al Qaeda and the Taliban. Then what the fuck that tell you? They being supplied by Al Qaeda and the Taliban and shit, dumbass. Who own a, most of the stores in the South? Y'all know if y'all know, but Arabs be running the stores in the South. So don't think there's not connections there, motherfucker. Don't think they ain't bringing guns across there. And you know who supplied Al Qaeda and them like that? Because it is an AK-47. It is a Russian gun. Connect the dots, goddammit. it. It's because what I tell you all the time, proxy wars. Russia is the ones who supply Iran. And remember one time they was beefing and America laid up there and helped uh, Afghanistan get rid of the Taliban. But Iran ended up being cool and fighting proxy wars through so who the fuck you think they uh fight doing their little proxy shit with black men with oh let's get them the guns and they'll give them the guns it's the circle of life but i ain't gonna even focus on that specifically with the choppers where else you think these guns coming from see this fucking video could delve into everything where else you think the guns coming from retired officers oh them little road shows where they go from city to city selling guns and shit and you think that's just conservative oh those are good old american cowboys and all of that shit you know when you see the little stadium and they say come to the road show with the best guns ever and all of that bullshit they throwing that shit under the table they they doing shit out the back door as well one fucking time i saw a young man with a grenade launcher where the fuck you think that boy get that from but you think uh mainstream media doing investigative reporting on that Let's get on the scene. They ain't saying, let's track to see where are these young men getting these guns from? Where the fuck is these bullies coming from? Well, they didn't register. These, none of these guns are registered. Nobody's doing investigative reporting when it comes to blacks. You, you ever see them even do that with Flint, Michigan? Did they go and see exactly who did what? Who exactly poisoned the water and let's exactly take their ass to jail? No. Uh, any investigative reporting going on? Or why do black people just not? not trust the media why do blacks keep saying that uh the cops are beating them why do they say the police is targeting them? no investigative reporting when the last time you see some shit like that you know what the fuck the media do uh well trayvon had on that scary hoodie and uh that other guy with those skittles he he looked threatening to me and uh, uh that guy uh walter williams or whoever he's a big guy that black guy uh, i'm scared as scared as hell and you know what that a Asian store owner, he really needed to beat the shit out of them females because he was afraid. Look at them, they're loud black women. They were afraid. Those Asians had to put hands on them. A fucking male, where was Me Too then? Did they come out and help your black woman? Remember y'all, some of y'all be marching with Me Too. Yeah, we out there in pink and breast cancer. The same people who marching with that pink breast cancer and all of that, they know where to be found when you're marching for your sons and daughters who dying. Atashiana and shit, not just men who they killing. Killing fucking young women and everything, goddammit. Abducting them and everything. Where's the investigative reporting on that mainstream media to see who the fuck is abducting these young black girls nah none of that none of that god damn it but we supposed to trust the fucking media are you completely insane you gotta be completely fucking insane in all of they dumb ass little polls y'all y'all notice they always have a poll but they never really poll you one of my subscribers said that they got polled before but i ain't never been polled bro I've never been polled. They don't give a fuck about your opinion. That's why. You know when polls work? When they let us say 98% of black men ain't shit. Huh. Uh, black women say that black men stepped out of the house. They're complete criminals. And black men do this. And 98% of black women are fucking welfare queens. And black women are... You see? 
the fucking polls only there to make you look terrible, god damn it. Or to uh probably try to kiss one of our group's ass. Let's say the they uh the polls till I say that black women are the cornerstone of the Democratic Party. Oh, trying to get a nigga to vote again. I, oh, we the cornerstone now. Nah. Well, if we the cornerstone, tell us what how the fuck you gonna protect our sons, mothers, uncles, and daughters and fathers, god damn it. Since we the cornerstone, how about you give the black females they call cornerstone agenda god damn it give them a cornerstone agenda here's how we're gonna protect your sons daughters here's how we're gonna fix the schools and let's talk about this where's the investigative reporting when it come to these medical facilities god damn it when it come to how y'all treat us in these motherfucking hospitals god damn it remember uh p booty jazz didn't his dumb ass say oh if you're black and you go in there and you say that your your pain level is at 10 they're less likely to treat you you know why because you're black they be like oh you just trying to get some pain medicine you know when i went up in there and i told y'all i was sick and shit when i had this fucking toothache wisdom tooth or some dumb shit you know the motherfuckers gave me three narcos if anybody know and that's because other motherfuckers get addicted to it so i gotta be racially profiled because other motherfuckers abuse the drugs because y'all don't know how to tell if a crackhead is coming in there to get the shit or not Get the fuck out of here, but now, nah, since I got a real toothache and shit, and thankfully I'm able to do this video, I gotta, su I gotta settle for two motherfucking, uh, three motherfucking, uh, Motrid, uh, some bullshit, three, uh, narco, yeah, narco, my bad, three of them motherfuckers in a bottle of ibuprofen, that shit only worked for two minutes and shit, you know, get the fuck out of here, bruh, but we supposed to trust mainstream media, are you fucking insane, let's read this little dumbass report a little, bit y'all let's read this bullshit you witnessing a rebel network many more americans trust news on the internet than did so in 1998 shit we really could stop right there look more people believe the fucking internet than did so in 1998 when only a small fraction of americans got their news this way currently 40 percent of americans say they trust online news up from 25 percent in 1998 the last time gallup measured opinions on the subject you dig you see people are trusting motherfucking internet news because it's accurate let's go back to the top you see that accuracy up 15 points because they know where the fuck the truth at is here on btn god damn it the truth lives here grassroots lives here god damn it fuck out of here Let's continue to read this bullshit. In addition to local television, 74%, local newspapers, 67%, and local radio, 65%, several other news sources garner majority level trust from the public. That mean nigga do not really fuck with CNN or none of them dumbass news stations. Look at this graph, y'all. Look at this graph. You see, dark green mean no, cannot trust. Light green mean yes, we can trust. Now go all the way down that shit and you're going to see nightly network news programs. 54% trust in the motherfuckers, y'all. 54% trust. And it's, it's pro and if they showing us that, it's less than that, god damn it, because they ain't going to tell us the truth. Morning news, 51%. National newspapers, they trust them at 49%. CNN, y'all, they trust them at 48%. Fox News, they trust them at 43%. And the online news, 40%. Ain't that some shit, huh? That mean this fucking poll is wrong than a motherfucker. Because you know damn well people trust the internet way more than that. And still they beating these, these clowns. Because look, when you say no cannot trust, fucking 48% say no cannot trust CNN. 51% 51% say no, cannot trust Fox News. And look at that, 46% say no, 46% say no, can't trust the internet. So they still trust the internet more than they trust dumb ass motherfucking mainstream media. And that's because the propaganda there is blatant, y'all. That's all we do on this motherfucking channel is expose these people blatant propaganda. Blatant ass fucking propaganda. I mean, they agendas be so fucking easy to expose bruh they agenda so fucking easy to expose that 
it's a fucking crying shame and that's not even on a black aspect people exposing these people through other means god damn it not just us they being exposed like a motherfucker that's why they crying and attacking people that they call woke for attacking they dumb ass you know oh they think they woke and trying to demonize the word we see you but it's not working god damn it because when i tell you i'm woke i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna stand on it and i dare you to face to face try to challenge me on that come to my face and try to belittle the world i'm gonna say yeah i'm woke and what bitch i'm conscious and what now what you gonna do now, what's your next words? You better choose the motherfuckers wisely. I know that. You're witnessing a rebel network. Let's read the end of the lame-ass, little, uh, dumb-ass article because it ain't nothing but propaganda as well. Nothing but propaganda as well, God damn it. Go to that scene. Americans overall trust in the media, which Gallup has regularly tracked since 1997, fell to an all-time low. That shit fell to an all-time low, y'all. Look, they trying to make it because it was Trump, goddamn. Look, 20 in 2016, amid the contentious presidential election, but has since begun to rebound because of Democrats' increased trust. Still, trust and confidence in the mass media is fucking low y'all than it was in the 2000s y'all know what that mean think about it dumbass well not my people who watch this god damn it but motherfuckers who might not get it still after all of these minutes think about it if a republican is in office more democrats are likely to watch cnn and msnbc because first of all they don't want to hear nothing bad about democrats so they're gonna watch them too and second of all they want to keep an eye on the president who they so afraid of and thought that black people was gonna just run to the polls behind god damn it so of course more democrats gonna watch the news god damn it because if barack obama was in there you don't think more republicans gonna watch the news so that's how they try to trick you right then and there try to trick you but look they had to tell the truth after the after the bullshit still look go to that go to that screen you wouldn't send a rebel network and shit still trust still trust and confidence in mass media remain lower than they were in the early 2000s see even though they just told you that other bullshit still the trust is down look get the fuck out of here boy you know why I trust down? Because y'all ain't shit. And you're being exposed every day by real grassroots media. Like block talk motherfucking news, you did. That's why y'all trust going down. Black people, we been new not to trust you. We know y'all don't do polls regarding us and shit. But so let a black person shoot somebody. It's plastered all over the news. But a white supremacist could shoot up a fucking church. And ain't nobody investigating. Why the fuck did they take him to Burger King? Ain't nobody investigate that nah, nah. ain't nobody gonna see what happened to the officers who drove this nigga to burger king and shit they ain't doing no investigative journalism on that huh they ain't doing no shit like that fuck no god damn it but won't attack people who woke and they could quickly give a uh, fireman saves a kitten for a young white girl they could quickly give them nothing but coverage around this bitch nothing but the fucking coverage get the fuck out of here bruh and think about this even the military y'all black service members how often do you see them on tv they don't even show y'all but you're up here risking your life for they stupid ass all they do is deny shit and you know all they do is deny all of our class oh man the, the, the hospital don't not uh treating you unfairly oh the cops love you cops are not targeting you and shit like that because they want to remain asleep they don't give a fuck about your problems but when they come to that electoral college and shit like that oh hold up they got that's when the, the other society dominant society that's why they starting to wink they are like hold on something's something's not something's a skill here that's one of their words something's a skill here and shit they starting to notice hold on electoral college them the motherfuckers who really elect shit and oh the popular vote ain't really shit and, hold on hold up see it's them who really starting to not trust them and now everything is coming full circle because they know this black people not fucking with the media and they withdrawing from the whole political process what do they know that we don't we know that y'all full of shit 
God damn it On the media uh, We know y'all full of, full of shit On all aspects God damn it Full of shit On all aspects But y'all Ain't too much I don't wanna start rambling Y'all know how I do I like to get to the point Get this shit You know Knocked out God damn it Get it knocked out And wrapped up And that's what the fuck We just did So let's go through it again What the fuck did we learn Whenever they showing you You this criminal right here Look niggers today Shot up more niggers God damn it. Are you the face of welfare? Look, we're going to get them off welfare by making sure that they assimilate. We're going to make sure that they conform and wear a bow tie and uh, do everything we tell them. And the little bad niggers in school, we're not going to fix the school, but we're going to, uh, soon as those niggers fight, we're going to make sure we take them directly to the prison and press real charges on them. And think about this. That's what really happened. God damn it. See, before I even wrap it up, then got to another story. When I was a kid and I did, uh, what's called a uh, uh, simple robbery or some bullshit like that. I took something from another student. Didn't have a gun or no shit like that. Well, I took his money, just doing dumb shit. You know what they did? They called that simple robbery. And they took me out of school and drove me directly to prison. And I had to sit there until my mama came and got me. And I was on probation because of that bullshit. You see what I'm saying? But you think if we was in a private school, they would have sent little Billy to fucking jail they would have said now nah, belly you give that back boys will be boys and shit you know what i'm saying six dollars y'all going through probation and shit you know i was just a little dude you know us doing little dumb shit i'm about to jack that fool for his six dollars you know six dollars was a lot of money back there like six dollars nigga what i could buy an extra slice of pizza in the cafeteria and everything but look what they did me instead of saying oh this is a juvenile and shit like that they took my dumb ass straight to jail and made sure i was on probation and made sure i had to pay this and do this and do that god damn it and another statistic and shit you see so how in the fuck would i ever trust the news how can any black person possibly trust the news and like i told y'all it's nothing but old people watching local news thinking that's why they be so free you know my i'm speaking direct you know white people i expect them to be a certain type of way against uh younger black people but you older black people you're watching that local news and now you're clutching your purse and scared and shit Cause you're watching that bullshit all day and trusting what the fuck they say and actually thinking people like me is a Russian body even though I'm here before your face, god damn it. See what I mean? But like I said, y'all, of course trust is dropping amongst mainstream media. Cause mainstream media ain't shit. People come into BTN, god damn it. Once again, y'all holler at me.